in this video demonstration I'm going to show you how to wrap this golden um, shadow oval um, Swarovski that is in the kit and it's using the 0.8 uh, champagne gold and 0.4 champagne gold wire that are also in the kit and as you see I've wrapped it with some detail on the front there's also some uh, simple detail on the back which you can elaborate on which I'll uh, explain later and I've added just a little detail of a little um, wrap leaf with a few uh, of the beautiful carnelian chips that are also in the kit um, and to, to make this pendant you're going to need obviously you're going to need the kit you're going to need those um, beautiful Swarovskis and the wire um, and then we're going to need some tools so we're going to need um, some uh, flat nose pliers I'll just change those over uh, some flat nose pliers and I'm using my Xeron pliers just I'm using them just because they're nice and fine and they help me to get in with detail um, you can use a round nose plier or a bow making plier I'm using the six step bow making plier because it gives me options for sizes and you'll need some sort of wire cutter I'm using a flush cutter but um, normal wire cutters will be fine okay so to start off we're going to need to um, set the wire into the Swarovski so let me just move the tools out of the way and bring in the beautiful Swarovski there we go right so now I've got a length of the um, gold plated um, the, ro the champagne gold plated wire and this is a 0.8 and it's perfect for this sort of um, sort of work it's got enough structure to hold but it's pliable enough for you to give some detail okay so I've got about a 30 centimeter length here so I'm roughly in the middle I'm going to pop in some uh, round nose or I'm, I'm using my bow making pliers and I'm using the second step up so it's the second um, smallest on, on the loop okay so I'm just going to bring those round and I'm going to cross them over so we've got our little loop there okay so now I want both of these wires to be coming down in this direction to go through the um, Swarovski so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open them up slightly just open them there just so I can get my pliers in and I'm going to use my flat nose pliers and I'm going to pop those in just at the point where they're about to cross over so the loop goes round and where the, the point where the wires are about to cross over let me just do that again for you where they're about to cross over just pop in your pliers there okay and then we're going to bend that around so we're making that angle so that wire is going in that direction so I'm just going to quickly do that on the other side so pop them in at the point where they cross over and angle that okay so that's a little bit lopsided so I'm just going to pop the pliers back in a little bit higher and make that angle there okay so now we've got that lollipop shape there okay so now both of the the ends of the wire we're going to go through so we've got lots of fingerprints on this beautiful Swarovski so there we go so both of the ends of the wire go through the Swarovski so now what we need to do we need to leave a little section at the top just here so we can wrap around uh, when we finished but coming down to this end what we need to do is open out these two wires okay so we've opened them out and we've got that v-shape so what we're looking at creating is this this shape so we've got our little loop we've got our Swarovski and we've got our v-shape there and as you see I've just woven into that shape so I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that this weave at this point is um, personal preference you can do whatever weave you want at this point as long as it's quite a nice open flat weave because later on we're going to wrap back over the top okay so the width that I did was just a five and five on each side so I'm just going to take a little length of the wire and hold that in place I'm just going to wrap around the bottom just a couple of times just to make sure that my wire is secure and then over onto this side one and I find sometimes it's easy to bring the, the wire that you're working on closest to you okay so that's say so we've done two three four and five okay and then to wrap onto this one I turn that back over it just for me it just means that it's it's easier for me to to work on that's two 
and it does move around a little bit until you can actually get a grip on it through just make sure they're nice and tight four and five okay and then back over to the other side and one two and i'm going to bring it towards me because it's easier four and five again squidgy those up so they're nice and neat and across to this side and you just continue that weave until you've got a section of the weave that's long enough to go over the Swarovski. So we want this um, weave here to be um, the length of your Swarovski. So we'll just hold that next to the, the one that we've just worked on. Okay, because we're going to actually fold this back onto the Swarovski and it's going to fill in that section. Right, so now we've got our weave. All we need to do now is decide which side of the Swarovski we want to use. So I'm going to go with um, with this side. I'll get rid of some of the fingerprints. There we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this onto here. And this last weave is going to come at the top here. But if you just look at it, I've done five on this side. Okay. And it's a little bit uneven. It's a bit lopsided. So if I just put that there, you see that's a little bit down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these down just to make sure they're nice and flat. And I'm going to wrap in. Sorry, let me just get that in shot. Two, maybe three. Maybe three at that point. And you see that sort of evens up that. So it makes it look a little bit more, bit, little bit more balanced, okay? So now what we need to do is wrap across the Swarovski. Again, decide on the size side that you're going to use. And it, it, it's a matter of, if I do it in that angle, folding that back. Okay. Now, if you want to add a drop, um, like I've done here, I've added this little, um, little leaf and some um, little drops there. You can leave this little section here, bring that in. And you see you leave a little opening there. So you can leave an opening there where you can pop a jump ring on or you can add something in there. Okay. If you don't want to do that, you can just push that close to the Swarovski there. Make sure you're trying, you, you, you know, you're keeping that nice and straight. There we go. So I'm just going to open that out a little bit. Right. So you see that that is actually just a slightly tiny, tiny little bit too short. So what I would do is I would probably just do another little wrap, but I've just pushed that up just for the demonstration purposes. Okay. Right. So now we've got our tail here, which we can use uh, for weaving the back if we decide to do that. Um, so now what we need to do is just get these top sections finished off. So I'm going to push that down so it's nice and neat and bend that back. So it's going over the Swarovski. There. Okay. And then I'm going to bring that around and I'm going to do the same on, on the other side. See there? And I'm going to bring that, try and do them both at the same time. So they're crossed over at the front there. And now what we want to do is bring them to the back. Okay, so try and keep this, this little section here as neat as you can. And now what we're doing is we're bringing these to to the back okay so now at this point you can actually start weaving again here so you could repeat this weave although it would be slightly narrower so if you shaped up that wire in that sort of uh, position you could do that weave five and five all the way down to that point there or you could just do a wrap around or you could just leave them blank at this point it's entirely up to you okay so for demonstration purposes, I'm going to cut off this 0.4, just here. Um, but obviously that would be the tail that you would use to continue your weave, okay? So just for this demonstration, I'm going to bring them in as close as I can get them together, just so they're nice, it's nice and neat on the back, okay? I'm going to bring them nice and close together there and try and get them as straight as I can because this is the detail that we're going to see on the front. And then going to turn it over and obviously when you wrap them these will be together but obviously i haven't wrapped mine so mine are probably going to be a little bit more open 
Right, so we're going to bring that and now they will sit in the middle once you've got your wrap section there. We're going to bring that over and I'm going to hold that just to make sure that that's in place there and we're going to separate these out and we're going to bring those over. Now you could wrap around or um, as I did I'm going to actually just cut them down slightly just to make it easier for me to... I'll show you on the um, on the original one in a second and I'm going to take this tail and it might be easier for you to use some pliers at this point and we're going to come through through that loop and you see I'm feeding that through and I'm feeding it through just because I, I want it to keep the tension um, but it's quite a short piece now so there so I'm going to feed that through and you see we're wrapping across the top of that um, the loop that we've made there okay so I'm going to come around the back and we're just going to continue wrapping that around and then we're going to take some pliers and cut that off right so we're cutting it off but we're leaving a little bit of a tail there I want to try and just show you how I just squishy that in so we're just going to pop some pliers on there and we're going to follow that that loop around so that's nice and neat at the back and it's also nice and neat on the front there so what you'll do you'll uh, repeat that on um, on that side as well so you've got a nice neat wrap if I bring in the original one right so if we see there um, you can see where I've wrapped around the um, the loop at the top as we just did in the demonstration and I've repeated that on the other side so that gives a nice neat finish um, to the piece um, but it just makes it a nice easy way um, to wrap one of those beautiful beautiful Swarovskis um, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration and um, I look forward to seeing you soon